Hey everyone, welcome back to another guitar review here on my channel, Clutch Guitars. Today we have a brand new 1950s Stratocaster right here. We're going to unbox it, we're going to go through it with a fine tooth ruler and some calipers. I got spanner wrenches and everything here, make sure everything's tight, make sure everything's right. And um, let me show you guys um, exactly what I got here. So I went over to Fender.com and of course their American Original 50s Strats were all sold out. You know, notify me when available. So I was kind of bummed out. Um, while we're here, I can show you guys what they do offer. They have the white blonde, which is kind of like a translucent, transparent white. It's pretty nice, actually. They have the two-color uh, sunburst, which is my favorite, the one I wanted. And they also have the Inca silver, which is also pretty nice not my style but definitely pretty cool as you can see the um it's got the original 50 style clues and tuners here um the old logo these are real nice and i wanted to grab one so big thanks to my friend jason he's the one that told me about these things so um they were sold out on fender.com so he sent me over to sweetwater here and Sweetwater's great because you can actually see the actual guitar that they're going to send to you. But if I was to purchase this guitar right here, this is the one pictured that I would actually get. So that's one thing I really like about Sweetwater. Uh, by the way, I'm not sponsored by Sweetwater or Fender or Gibson or anybody. I have my own guitar company and I'm making these videos to kind of pick through everything with a fine tooth ruler just to see all the bad stuff because I when, I when I walk into a guitar center or I see a guitar online or something like I can see it from across the room if there's something wrong with the guitar so that's why I'm making these videos so you guys have an idea of what to look for when you go to a guitar store or um, you know just the basic construction and quality of these guitars here directly from the factory so anyway I did go to sweetwater.com I picked this one up and it was uh, $2,000. It was about, well, I bought two of them. I, I bought one for me and I bought one for my friend Jason. He told me about them. Therefore, he gets a free one. And they were a little over 2000 each. It was like $50 or no, what was it? It was $95 tax, free shipping from Sweetwater. And the one sent to Jason was a little bit more, like 120 So not, not a big difference between the states. So anyway, I'm really excited about this American Original 50 Strat right here. Uh, let's unbox it and get it on the bench. Okay, so it was shipped from Sweetwater in this giant box. The top, we got some foam. Oh, I see. It's a box inside of a box. That's a big box. Okay, one more box to open here. Oh yeah, this has the tweed case and everything. So this guitar had to have been opened by Sweetwater because they do a 55 point inspection, whatever that is. And they also take pictures of it for their website. So this isn't, what I'm saying is this isn't originally packaged by Fender. All right, there it is, the nice tweed case. Let's take a look at it on the bench. All right, this case is a little bit longer than the other ones I've opened on this bench before, so. Is it open? What the hell? All right, first thing I'm noticing is this. Doesn't really work all that great. It works sometimes. That ain't good. All right, so far, having some bad impressions of this thing. Let's keep going. That side works. <laughs> it's definitely nice looking at first glance. Nice tweed case. That's what I prefer, these nice G&G &G original vintage cases case candy All right certificate right there lacquer finishes yeah because that's nitrocellulose lacquer and yes you can smell the nitrocellulose which is a nice 
bonus of opening these new guitars. Look at that, it comes with a 75th year anniversary uh, neck plate. It comes with an ashtray right there as well. That's interesting. And you can pause it there and read that if you want to, but it basically says um, it's included as a collector's item and not intended to be installed on the guitar. So it's just a collector's item is what that neck plate is. Cool. Keys for the case. That's nice. Oh man, that feels nice and light. There's that awesome old style 50s spaghetti logo. These tuners are installed perfectly. There's no gap at the ruler, so that's good. There's the serial number on the neck plate. The fret ends are perfect. Nice and rounded over. I want to get a closer look at those too. All right, now for the hardest shot of the video, the finish. So looking at this, you're just going to have to take my word for it because I can't get the quality on camera. It's uh, difficult to, to get. There are light buffer wheel streaks going this way. Um, that's going to off gas within the first year. Um, compared to Gibson, the quality here is like a, you know, an A minus, where Gibson would be like a C plus. This is just way better uh, production wise than Gibson. Back of the neck has one little brown knot. That's something that I wouldn't let out of my shop. You know, this whole piece here would be scrapped and I would go to the next piece, but Fender used it anyway. You can say it gives it character if you want to look at it, you know, on the bright side. So looking at it closely all over the entire guitar, I don't see any finish marks, any finish problems, nothing like that. All right, so you can see the fret ends. These things are mirror polished compared to the Mod Shop strats. I mean, that is way better. These are the nicest frets I've gotten on a brand new guitar. Um, Non-custom shop stuff, like this is really nice. Here's the next one. Yeah, these frets are just really nice. Very nice and smooth. No roughness all the way down the fretboard. All right, the top of the nut has minimal tool marks, the nut depth on the A, the D, the G, the B, and the E are a little bit too deep. The low E is just about perfect. It's sitting above right there. So here you can see on the low E string nut slot, the low E does sit just about flush and a little bit above. That's actually a little bit too deep. That's too deep. Same thing here, same thing here with the G, the B, and the high E. It should look something like this. This little drawing here, the circle in the middle, that is the string. The string should sit directly center of where that nut is cut down. The bridge material seems to be of higher quality than the Mod Shop bridges. Looks like it was either intonated um, during setup or it was roughed in. We'll have to check that. Here's our truss rod adjustment right in there. So yeah, overall, man, I'm impressed, especially with the fret work. We haven't played it yet. Um, there's a little bit of finish here on the 24th fret. They didn't, they didn't clean it all off when they scraped it. Of course, you'll have a little bit of finish on the edges of the frets. When they spray these things, they spray right over the frets and then they peel off. I don't know if they do it by hand, but when I do it, I do it with a razor blade. Peel off the finish off of each fret. Yeah, it looks good. All right, let's check the action here. Pinky on the high fret, 
first finger on the lowest fret. Check the height of your string at your 12. And we're at about a 32nd of an inch on the treble side. And the same on the bass side. Yep, no buzzing anywhere up and, up and down the fretboard. It seems like it is set up really well. Looking across the strings, the B string is up a little bit high. I'll try to show you what I mean. So here's the B string right here, right? It's actually up a little high, whoops. Okay, so here's our B string, and when we turn it, and we look at the radius of the strings, the B, it's hard to see on camera, but the B is actually up a little higher than the rest. And then it's a real simple fix. All we have to do is bring this uh, B string saddle down just a little bit, and then look across the strings until it matches the radius of the other strings. And it looks like we're good right there. Alrighty, let's go to the factory presets, captures one. All right, let's get this thing tuned up. No buzzing on this one. Man, just acoustically the thing sounds good. First thing I notice is the neck. The feel of the neck, this is that, um, what is it called, a soft V neck. It's really, really chunky, but it feels nice in the hand. So it's not, it's kind of ergonomic, but at the same time, it's it's kind of baseball batty. The first, that's my first feeling of it. It's, not, it's nice, I kind of like it. The neck is a little bit, I have to get used to the neck. It's just a little chunky for me. But a couple hours of playing this thing. Another thing I noticed about this guitar is my hands are sweaty, but it's really hot up here. And sweat and nitrocellulose don't mix. So it's a little sticky when I'm trying to, you know, trying to go move around on the fingerboard. It's a little sticky. I'm sliding around. Yeah. Yeah. It, a little sticky, but that's just my sweaty palms, I guess. Yeah, it's nice, man. A little bit of chalk on my hands should help with that. Other than that, this thing is really nice. I am enjoying this guitar. I'm going to play it for a couple hours tonight. I don't know. I think it's going to get take a while to get used to that thick neck on there. I'm going to put some gold bond on my hands and see if that helps. All right. I put some gold bond powder on my hand. That is so much better. Yeah, that's like... Yeah, night and day right there. Gold bond, it's like chalking up to go climbing, rock climbing. Anyway, that's the secret, that's the trick. So anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you haven't subscribed, you know what to do. If you'd like to see auctions on eBay that I currently have going, right now I have a Fender Strat over there. Links down below for my eBay and Reverb. Definitely check those out. Go ahead and grab yourself uh, guitars from me. And if you'd like me to do more reviews on more guitars, just leave a comment. Let me know what you want to see, and maybe I'll pick one up. So thanks a lot for watching. It catches real bad, and it doesn't close all the way either. <laughs> it's just like cheap metal. I guess they don't make them like they used to anymore.